What's up, people? Watching some late night World Series of Poker and found a hand I thought was interesting to talk about. So let's let it roll. Did I miss anything? What have I missed? That's a little Kasuf action. We'll, we'll, I'll talk about him in a full contact poker podcast tomorrow. The hand's coming up right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, hand's coming up in just a second. And here it is. To a featured table, one time chip leader Michael Nowitzki just turned a king high straight against Dietrich Fast, a Russian born, German raised, Austrian resident with a Broadway draw and a pair of jacks. Yeah, right. That's 110,000. See, this bet here is fine. You know, you, you've actually got the straight with King Jack for Nowitzki. Um, and now Fast, he's got an interesting hand. I don't know what happened before the flop or after because they just cut this in. So, But it's not all that relevant. I mean, it would matter a little bit, it would help to know some of that stuff. Having said that, you know, Fast has just the jack with the ace of clubs. Why does the ace of clubs matter? Well, it matters a little bit because if a club comes on the river, he could represent, you know, with a big bet somehow that he has the flush himself. So it gives him a little extra incentive to call and turn with maybe some extra bluff outs. He's also got a hand where he could catch a king himself. Uh, the bet size isn't that insane. So uh, so no no problem here from Nowinski to, New to bet. And then Fast here is going to make the call in just a second. Bach said he's Russian born, grew up in Germany, but now lives in Austria. He did indeed. I'll tell you, if he ever moves to Maryland, he will never move again. <laughs> Under 10,000 from Fast with his draw, and now Fast. It's a crazy card, right? So, you know, Fast makes three jacks, which really pretty irrelevant to his hand. I mean, he doesn't expect if he was, if I mean, he, if he was calling on the turn, he thought he was good. He was good anyway, so the jack didn't improve uh, or didn't change that scenario. Um, for Nowitzki, you know, he has a jack himself, which helps him a little bit because it's one less card his opponent fast can have to have a full house. Having said that, this is an important spot in a tournament specifically, right? If you're up against a good player, a smart player who's got the guts to know, to recognize the situation and know that you, you, your range is capped, as we say. It's very unlikely that Nowinski here ever has a full house, right? So he's basically saying, I have a straight or I have nothing. So... In these types of spots, especially in a tournament when you're out of position, the, 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 typically the correct play is to check. Because if you bet and your opponent is one of them good players and raises you, you've just put yourself in a really bad spot. Now, uh, that's less important, you know, being in big pot, bad spots in cash games than it is in a tournament where, you know, the amount of chips, you know, could really put a dent into your chances of winning. Uh, but as we're going to see here, Nowitzki's going to bet this. So he bets 185, which isn't, isn't a massive bet. It's kind of a smaller bet. And I, I just feel like in a spot like this, I would prefer, you know, check call. I mean, there are cases against certain players where you bet this river and you bet that amount in the hopes that they're smart enough to know that, you know, as I said before, your range is capped. So you're inducing them to raise with the, you know, so that you can actually make the call here because you just don't believe them. Again, it's playing a risky game of poker, high level poker that, um, you know, I don't necessarily profess to, especially with a small ball approach when pots get big. I'd rather play the, uh, you know, the easier game where I don't have to guess on the river against the race. That's and now Fast is thinking through this hand, thinking, you know, what the hell does this guy got? You know, he, I'm the one that could have queens and jacks or something along those lines. So he's going to, I love this play. He's going to raise here. That was 185. So he makes it 640, okay? So as I said, I like the raise. I feel, I mean, I guess it, a lot depends on player history and what you expect your opponent to do in these kind of situations. But often if you are going to turn this hand to a bluff, you might want to actually make it even more. So you do what's called polarize your range, which means either I got it, I got the full house, or I got squadoosh, right? Now, you don't want, if you're going to do that, you don't want to give the guy a price that's good enough for him to say, well, I don't know, maybe you got squad douche, maybe you got the nuts, I guess I call, let's hope it's the squad douche, right? So if he makes it here like 850, you know, 900, which is a really big raise, I mean, not saying that I would do this, and I'm not saying that's correct. I'm just saying, in general, when you are gonna polarize the range in these spots, making the larger raise puts your opponent in a much tougher decision. So here, Nowitzki's in a tough spot now. He put himself in a spot where he could have just checked, the guy bets, he calls, and if, you know, he's beat, he's beat. 
So he thinks it through a little bit. I don't know about that Riz. Was that board? Now he's trying to figure out a hand. He put his opponent on that called the turn. Right? That raises the river that he can beat. So he can beat flush draws. Yeah, I don't think he's folded. He's thinking, so when he says I have a pretty good hand to call with, what he's saying is that I have a jack. So that gives me a lot of information that it's way less likely that you have a jack. So he can beat, you know, queens and tens, queens and nines, a lot of those types of hands. Um, but one of the two pair kind of cards that could have filled up and hurt him, he has in his hand. You see what? I don't like being in a poker situation where I'm just praying and hoping that they don't have it. Hence, the small ball approach is typically in these spots is to check and not put myself in a situation where I'm going to risk a 400000 in chip raise in the hopes that my opponent's bluffing. Good call. Good call. Alright, so he ended up making a really good call, but I don't, I don't fault Rast at all for making the raise. I think, as I said, it comes, it's player dependent depending on who you're up against. Um, knowing actually what race size may, may work or may not work. Um, I don't fault the raise, and it's a great call by Nowinski, but as I said, typically speaking, in tournament poker, you want to avoid those river situations where you're forced into, if he's got, you know, you're basically flipping a coin and hoping. Unless you're really, really good at physical read and you can pick up a read on your, or a tell, and I don't think Michael Nowitzki, who's a new player, he's only been playing about a year, um, was coming from that place. I think he just made, you know, a, what we call a game theory call, that just made sense because he was getting a decent price to make the call. He could beat some hands, and obviously he had that jack, which was a key card for him. So hope you enjoyed that hand analysis. I thought the hand was quite interesting. It, it comes up a lot, these types of situations, especially with high-level players, really smart-thinking guys. Uh, less so if you're playing against amateurs. Now, typically, like a, an amateur that you don't know, if he raises you on that river, you, you, you should probably fold because they're rarely ever going to understand the level and the depth that... You don't have it, so they could, so they can represent something that you can't. All right, guys, that's it for now. See y'all. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a full contact poker podcast about the William Kasuf hand because I thought that was really interesting. We're going to talk to, uh, I have a really special guest. I won't spoil it till we, we have it. I'm going to talk some Hall of Fame and other stuff like that. Cheers.